So exit strategy number two would be that they, the entrepreneurs of the future, and it doesn't have to be the ones that are currently on the throne, the, the Googles and Amazons and Facebooks and Microsofts and Apples. It could be somebody new, but that they create new technology to technologize our way out of this, out of this persuasive tech dilemma. And let me stick with the election again. The 2020 election then came up in the country that created most of these persuasive technologies for commercial reasons. Um, and as the election came up, there was a lot of disputed content. For example, the 45th president, which was the incumbent up for the election, Donald Trump, claimed that the election was stolen. What did Facebook do? Well, it actually went beyond what Zuckerberg had previously declared. It did not police, but it added a kind of like a technological solution. It detected it and then put a little, a little marker on it that said, well, the final results may be different from the initial vote counts and so forth. You have to be careful. Twitter, by the way, the, plat the social media platform of choice of the incumbent uh, 45th president of the United States, uh, also did something very similar, right? So Donald Trump declared that actually he won the election and Twitter said, well, some of all of the content shared on this tweet might be disputed. And when he then uh, uh, tweeted twice, I won the election, uh, and then in caps, I won the elections, Twitter added a little, you know, technological add on tag that says, well, multiple sources called this election differently. Now, is this uh, very uh, successful or influential? Or, well, we talked about cognitive biases already, especially think about the confirmation bias. Think about the novelty bias, right? How you pay attention to this, to these kind of things that surprise you. What Donald Trump won, I didn't even, and if the confirmation bias, if you really already thought like, yes, I, I thought like he will win. And then you see something like this, that's, what you will remember. So the little tag on item from a behavioral economics point of view, does it really make a difference if I ask you two weeks later what you remember? Well, and that's, that's disputed here. And so if you're here, so the elections show us a very interesting evolution and there could be current updates. So I'm telling you more these historical, uh, these historical things that happen for you to understand as well. What are the solutions? And that brings us to our third exit strategy that maybe they, uh, with corporate responsibility or with new technology might not be might not be uh, in a position to do that maybe we have to regulate the existing market through regulation